What is up? Welcome to another one. Check out this crazy AI animated hyperlapse. It looks crazy complicated, but it's actually quite easy. And in today's video, I will teach you on how to do it in Premiere Pro. Credit goes to a guy called Malik, who I think came up with this idea originally. Welcome to my Premiere Pro window and I got this sample clip of the Statue of Liberty loaded. Next, I want to move forward to the point where the camera is facing the statue. What we have to do is take screenshots frame by frame and we will each replace them with an image that contains this cool AI animation. So I move one frame forward with the arrow key on my keyboard and then hit that little camera icon right here, which will take a screenshot. Now I repeat that at least 20 to 30 times to have one solid second of video. Next I go to a website called DALI which I have linked below the video and I upload the first image. The website then asks me if I want to crop the image and I hit decline. Next I have to define the image generation frame and I set it to like loosely at the center of the image right there. Then I select this little erase tool and point at the place where I want the AI animation to appear. So next I select this text box, which is basically a text to image function. And I type in the object that I want to appear. So let's choose something funny and type in, let's say ice cream cone. Then I hit the generate button. Then I can download the image. I repeat this step about 30 times and add an AI object to each and every screenshot that I took. And lastly, I want to import the sequence back to Premiere Pro and I do not recommend to drag and drop because otherwise the images will be like longer time span than only one frame. Instead, I go to the folder of the images and rename the image sequence so they follow a proper logic for Premiere to import as a sequence. Then I go to file import or alternatively you can hit command i on your keyboard if you're on a mac or control i on windows and then click the first image and i make sure i tick the arrow next to image sequence and hit import now i find the sequence in my media browser in premiere i simply have to place it right above the original clip cool so let's check it out and see how it looks when I replay the clip, you notice that everything happens extremely fast, but no problem. All we got to do is slow it down to like 50 to 60% and boom, we got the animation. So let's replay that again. And now your image might look a little bit choppy because we are lacking frames. But if you right click again and select clip speed duration, then on the very bottom, you can select optical flow as the time interpolation method, which makes things a little bit smoother. That was literally my first attempt and I just tried it out while doing this tutorial. I think it looks really cool and if I would refine it for a bit longer, then I think you could make it even smoother. Either way, hit the like button if you found this useful and make sure you are subscribed for more content like this and I will see you guys in the next video.